So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to bake ambient occlusion into your model's vertex colors. So let's say we have this bench here or whatever. Uh, like this will be an exterior prop and not inside an interior. If we go to the vertex colors, we'll see that everything is just completely red. There's like no difference at all. This is like okay for most part, but can do better. It'll look better if you bake the ambient occlusion. So it looks like there's better shading. So to do this, we're going to create a new color attribute. We're just going to name this like AO. Here it's face color and bite color. And then just set it to all black. Add. Make sure it's selected and change the camera thing here. Make sure it's selected to this one as well. Then go to the render settings. Go to bake. Change the bake type to ambient occlusion. Then for the target, change to active color attribute. Also, uh, before this, if you notice, like after the bake, there's like, it looks really odd. Like it doesn't make sense why it's baked like that. Just make sure the camera setting or this icon up here is toggled for the collision so it's not rendering. That being said, click bake. You'll see here that the ambient occlusion is now baked. Now if we can switch back to our normal color, then still in vertex paint mode. We're going to need vertex color master. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, so now we can go to the data transfer here. Change the source to AO and make sure it's the red channel. And the destination is our color one red channel. Then click copy. Now you can see here it looks as it should. It's essentially just overlaying or I guess mixing the AO into our color attribute. So now like there's going to be fake shadows almost in game. Here you can see it like it's a little messed up. You might have to manually adjust this, but it's definitely better than just having a like pure red color. I guess if that helps, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments and yeah.